What's up everybody, Gaming Gargoyle here, and welcome back to another episode of Farmer's Dynasty. As you can tell here guys, today it is raining, so that usually means that there's no quests out there to do. I'm not sure about the tutorial ones, let's take a quick look here. Um, well, it looks like the tutorial guys are still out here, so go to the church, the cedar, and... Shy Lydia. That lady over there seems to have an old fertilizer. Perhaps it would be good to talk to her. Okay, well, we could uh, possibly do that, but today, guys, I was actually thinking about doing something a little bit different. I was thinking about how about we go out and we find uh, all the apples uh, that we can and um, on the map, and I'll show you guys the locations. All right, so there we go. That's all the eggs. Uh, let's see how many did we get today. Uh, oh, well, we have a total of 79, so I guess we should be good. Oh, and we might as well have a little something to eat. Looks like we're feeling a little peckish. Now, we're going to go check on the uh, stats of the greenhouse as well. However, guys, just to let you know that because it's raining today, we do not want to water the plants. They'll get their own humidity from the, uh, the rain to go as it is. So, yeah, you see how right now it's green? When we come back to the end of the day, it might even be up into the wet section over in that area. So, we'll come back and check that out later. So, let's get over here and let's get started. Now, the first thing that you want to do when you come into your apple orchards is when you can, go hit your um, engineering site and look for a spot to put the scarecrow. And there it is. So, use your engineering site, walk up to it. Press A, it's 150 bucks, but it also gives you 250 social points, so that's a bonus. Now, this Scarecrow Crow is going to protect your crops and foods and fruits nearby, so here he's going to help uh, keep the amount of apples that we can get on the trees um, uh, pretty good. Now, there's also, as you can see here, beehives, so it's always good to place those down as well. They produce honey, beneficial for your nearby garden. They also are completely harmless, so you don't have to worry about getting stung or anything. And uh, I just go through and I just buy all three in this section here. I'll tell you what, we have enough money. Let's go through, buy all the beehives on the farm. So there's that location there. There's this location over here. There we go. So there's a total of four on the, the farm itself that you can uh, place these hives down. We'll just scooch de scooch de scooch de over here. I can't remember, was it over this way? Where was it? Oh, okay, hold on. First things first. Let's put our scarecrow up. So, once again, this will protect uh, our crops, so we'll get higher yields. Well, uh, there it is. I knew it was over here somewhere. It's been a while since I placed them. And last but not least, there we go. So that's three out of the four locations. Last one's just up over here. Mm, boy, that's a pretty sight, that machine there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Still got to renew that one as well, but we'll do that when it suits our benefit. three so there we go that's going to help and also give us um, honey so now we get to go through the trees if you're having problems seeing apples guys just press the a or the uh, engineering site and just give a quick look um, it's nicer to do when it's raining because you can see more there you can go okay yep yeah. this dope oh, nope we almost missed one over here so it's always good to do a full you know, walk around, look about. So I'm going to go through here. Um, take a look here at the apples. So we now have 11 apples. Um, we made everything in the applesauce last time. Remember, we collected some from Oliver's, but don't worry, guys. I'll show you that location as well, even though there won't be any apples to uh, harvest. At least there shouldn't be if we did our job right the first time. All right, so that's the first row of trees. So what I then do is then I come back down to the very beginning here. And then do the next row. And that way I keep myself in line and well sorted to know 
which rows of trees I have checked out at this location. So that one seems to be done. Um, tell you what, guys, we'll just cut to um, uh, the end when I've collected all the apples at this location. And uh, I will uh, drive to Oliver's for his location, even though, like I said, we won't have any apples to pick up from there. So I'll see you guys there in just one second. All right, so here are at Oliver's. So on the map, this is where uh, Oliver lives. Yeah, right down in here. So that's the second location. As you can see, there are actually three apple trees here. One, two. But we picked all the apples. Oh, let's get rid of the scaffolding tree, shall we? And finally, oh, there's four trees. Okay, well. Two spots, four trees. And there's no apples on those because we picked them, like I said, last uh, in the first episode. Okay, so guys, uh, next location, right across the street there at Clara's. Alright, uh, now here's her orchard. So, just in case for those on the map. We are right here. Perfect. Alright. So guys, I'll go through once again. Uh, we collected 85 apples from the main farm. So we'll go through here and pick up some more apples. And I'll see you when i am uh, got this cleared out. Alright, so we made it to the next location on our map, and just to let you guys know that that clears out everything that's in the homestead area for apples. So that's, just to recap, we got Clara's, we have Oliver's, and we have our own place. Uh, okay, so now we're going to work on over here in the new fields boundary area. Um, so there's going to be some at this farm, um, some at this farm in between over here. Uh, there's a bunch of them here, some of them up here. So we're going to bounce through all these guys and uh, I'll show you guys on the map. So first location we now have in the inventory 125 apples. So we picked up 40 apples from the last go around. Now I'm not going to keep track anymore guys of how many we get at each location. I'll let you do that for me. I will show you the map and how much we got every time we reach a new location. So all right guys, let's do this. I'll see you at the uh, next one. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, still at the same location here. Just thought I'd uh, show you guys that there are more apple trees just over here in the back section. So if you come up here into this area on the map, which is down here, there's two sections. There's right along the front fence line and in the back corner. Don't miss them. All right, back to gathering apples and seeing you at the next location. <laughs> All right, made it to the next location on the map. We are over here so there are going to be trees in this area bunch of trees in this area to share between the two farms all right so quite a bit to pick up but I believe there's a couple long in here as well so definitely search this area well in order to get a large amount of apples for that festival that way you can uh, grind them all up make them in an applesauce and uh, make some money all right guys um, so yeah, one set here, a couple trees there, and then like I say, there's the big orchard just over there, right there. Don't miss them. All right. See you next one. Oh, we have 139 apples. All right, as you can see, uh, we changed locations. We are up in the northern section of uh, New Fields. Right up in here. So there's a bunch of them right here. And then there's going to be a couple of them up in this section. So let's take a look and see how many we got. We're now at 183. So that was a, a nice little pick up there. All right, guys. I'll see you when I get to the other place. Or to the, uh, when I get over to that location. Right over there, you can just barely see them off in the distance. All right, next location. And we are up in the north end of the map, like I said. We are... In Newfield still, just in the zone, right up between the barn and the house. Alright, so we have uh, 208 now. Alright, see you guys at the next location. Arrived at the next location on the map here, and it's just one single solitary tree. And you can usually grab the apples 
um, pretty easily here. So yeah, uh, on the map we got. Uh, where are we? Well, I guess we're over in town of Redberry now. So yeah, that that finished off Newfield. So town of Redberry, there is that one particular one there, and then there is an orchard um, right down here at the church. So uh, yeah, guys, I'll go pick these. What I think two. Uh, apples that are here. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so we got 213. Here's your engineering site. Just real quick, see if there's any more. Nothing. Yeah, so that gave us a whole. How many? Come on. Yeah, two. Perfect. All right. All right, guys. See you at the church. Okay, here we are. Next location, just behind the church, town of Redberry. On the map, we are. Right there. So, okay, it wasn't in here. It's over to the side of it. It's right over here. All right, perfect. All right, guys, once again, 215. I'll see you guys in the next location. All right, so we jumped out of that town of Redberry District, and we're now over into the unnamed corporate district here of the building farms and farmhouses, hired hand type of thing going on over here. So, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of apple trees along here, along the side, and towards the front of the house as you can see over here make sure you catch them all we're at 228 so far all right see you guys at that next location okay we're at boss man's house of the corporation zone and there are two apple trees to pick up from currently we have 240 apples and we are located like i say in the corporate zone just right here perfect all right let's see like i said we have how many 240 so Climb in the ladder, guys. All right, see you at the next location. I don't think there's any here, to tell the truth. Okay, so we left the uh, beautiful corporate county up there, and we've now entered Lakeside. As far as I know, there is nothing up in Merry Waters to pick up for apples. So over at Lakeside in the... Uh, right by the bus stop here. As you can see, there are two trees with some apples on them. Um, we struck out the last location, guys. Uh, so, yeah. So we got another two apples here, so we're now at uh, 242. I think there should be a couple more apple trees aligned along here. I think that'd be a nice little area instead of all the sunflowers. But I'm not the owner of that land, so I don't get to make the choices. Okay, guys, I will uh, just take the quick trip up here to the next set. Um, not that far away at all. Hey there, Badoosh. Next location of apples. So as you can see, 242 apples, just because we only got the two from there. And the next set is straight ahead over there in front of me. But uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and pick all these apples, guys, meet you over there, show you the location on the map just in case you're bouncing. Eh, maybe somebody wants to put some timestamps into my comments. That would be awesome as well to say for all the different locations that I've got going on here for when the map comes up, maybe. That would be awesome. Have my community help out. That'd be perfect. Okay, so let's see. Now, I have a tendency not to use my engineering site, which means I probably miss picking up some apples. So, uh, of course, you know, as scarecrows and randomization goes through, you may get more, you may get less apples than me, but I can tell you this. The locations are always the same for where the apples are. Uh, Okay, yeah, actually, you know what? We'll just keep on uh, rolling with this one instead of jumping to a, a quick cut. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> feel like I'm live streaming. Uh, okay, it's, uh, whoa, don't run into the crops because you'll lose social points. All right, so here we are at the next location. Uh, we now have 252. We are located here in Lakeside. And there's also one tree right there on the other side of this place, this uh, location here too, guys. So we'll go pick that up in just one second. Wow, pretty cheap on the uh, apples on this location. That's okay though, we got a few more to visit uh, in Lakeside. Lakeside's got uh, a few apples that we want to take. Okay, so that is it, I believe, yep, 
Okay, so. I'm gonna come over here to this lonely single tree. Let's hope it has an apple on it. And it does. There we go. Alright, so like I said, just on the other side of that house there, and I'll see you guys at the next location. Alright, so made it to the next location. We have 259 apples, and we are located on the map in Lakeside. Right here at this little home. Actually, I don't even think it's a house. I think it's just like an office or something. Yeah, just a little storage. Alright, so like I said, how many do we got? 259. Alright guys, yep, meet you at the next one. Alright, so the next location is just down the road. There's two trees. Yeah, we are. I wish that we could just lock on our own character sometimes, but that's uh, not the way it is apparently. Alright, so we got two here, one behind my truck, one just over here in front of me. And then afterwards we're going to jump up over here on this section of the map. So, alright, we have 269 and we'll see what we get. I think we might strike out. Oh, no, 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 we got one at this location. Or one on that tree. Probably nothing on this one, though. And... Nope, nothing here. Uh, looks like we got a little bit of a bumper hug going on over here. Interesting. That's okay, I'll see you guys at that next one. Okay, next location, like I showed you guys previously on the map, is here. That is a pain in the butt, I tell you, every time. Every time. You know, scroll way out on the map, find your location, then scroll way in, move over. So yeah, here we are. So there's a couple trees on this location and a couple trees over there. Don't forget to get them all, guys. We have 270. Alright, so we find ourselves leaving Lakeside and uh, placing ourselves over here in Peaksville. There's only one location that I know of in Peaksville. And that's right here. And I'll just turn around here and show you guys. Yeah, there's a nice... Oh, it's a minus one, so we had 278. We now have 279. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll go ahead here and pick up the last of the apples. And that's it for Peaksville, like I said. So the next one that we're going to run down to is uh, Player Solitude. It's uh, very, very tiny. I believe there's just two trees there. I believe, I believe, I believe. So yeah, that's how many apples we got from here. So that was what, 258 to, or I can't remember. You guys tell me. And jump into the pickup truck, drive down to Player Solitude. It's just straight down the road here, guys, but uh, it ain't worth the time lapse. So we'll just do a jump cut. Okay, so we reach Player Solitude on the map. And it, it, I wish you would quit scrolling like that. So yeah, it's Player Solitude way the heck down here in the bottom of the map. There's two trees. And I'll show you where those two are located. They both are on the inside. There we go. One here. And one right there. Just in behind the sunflowers. So guys, uh, we have right now 285. I don't think we're probably going to pick up any here. Negative. So we struck out this time here. Oh, what a pity. What a pity. Oh, well, guys. So, next location on the map is going to be... Let's see, what's the nearest close one? Uh, there's nothing at Old Man's Wharf, uh, but there is over at Old Man's Mill. Um, there's a bunch right here. So, yeah, I tell you what, this is the next one that we'll go to, guys. We'll see you there. 285. All right. Okay, so, next location. So, there's... Uh, on the map, we are... An old wheat bird. Thanks. And so, yeah, we got a little bit along this line here and a little bit on this line over here, guys. So we'll go ahead and pick them up. Right now we have in our inventory 308. All right, see you at the next location. Okay, so I actually thought there was uh, apple trees at the agricultural market, the grain silos on the map. But uh, right over here, uh, right there, sorry, agricultural market. I thought there was some there, but uh, when I got there, there wasn't any. But that was my last location anyway. So, guys, yeah, that's that's all the Apple locations. If you know of any more, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. But for now, let's talk to John, see if we can get a fishing rod. Care to trade? 
Sure. What do you need? Fishing rod, bud. There we go. Here's a fishing rod for 312 bucks. Now, guys, we're going to go ahead here and uh, I'm going to show you guys a neat little easy trick. I cannot remember the game that I played that had this pretty much the exact same fishing mechanic in there, except for um, the, the screen that they use to show you when you're about to hook your bait type deal. So it uh, what I found was that it perfectly matched the game. I can't remember what it was. It was like Sega Bass Fishing or something way back in the day. So guys, what you want to do is you want to take a look, um, see where the schools of fish are. As you can see, there's one little guy there, but he's really close, so he's probably not going to bite the bait. So now, this is where I switch to mouse, guys. So I'm just going to flick the rod out there with the left mouse button. Just move it a little tiny bit. Now I'm throwing it in front of where they are actually schooling. But I think it's too close. I usually got to put it out there over like 17, 18 meters. Before they'll actually pick up. Yeah, see, because right now it's just rolling in. So let's see if we can find another school of fish moving around. Or we can play this game. Uh, let's bring it out over here. Look at that way. Doesn't matter where you cast from. Now, just flick forward, let go of the mouse button, you're done. That was it. Okay, so let, let me do that again, so that way you guys can see, or you can understand what I did. Okay, so put the fish, uh, the fishing rod in. Just give it a light little tug or two. Let's give it a second, wait for a fish. on fishies and then as soon as they bite you hold left mouse button and then whip your controller forward so if you have it on the desk towards the monitor that's you know, basically what I'm saying uh, normally we catch a lot more fish but it might be that we are just too close again all right so let's put it out there if you're too close you just will not catch any fish See, as soon as it's there, just whip forward with the mouse. You automatically catch the fish. Easy, easy fishing, guys. Absolutely easy, easy fishing. Why work harder when you can work smarter? Like I said, this was in a mechanic. They even give you like the uh, the walkthrough of how to fish. You, you land it and move forward to hook. Like you hook the fish in the mouth by moving the mouse forward. Or I think back in those cases was the right mouth or uh, right stick. I think it was like the Dreamcast days or something, but yeah, no, it's, it's the exact same mechanic from way back that I remember. So guys, easy fishing. As soon as you catch, launch it forward, just press the mouse or the left mouse button, whip it forward, as long as you're in between the lines for the catch zone, and yeah, you'll, you'll catch fish all day, guys. Really simple. But for the rest of this episode, guys, I think I'm going to go through, and I'm going to um, collect hay bales. Now it says do not harvest in the rain. It has never said anything about uh, not um, bailing in the rain and losing anything. So we're going to do that. We're going to bring them into the barn when we're done. Oh, I guess we got to get rid of uh, our lawnmower. Forgot that we had a lawnmower. So let's just grab the good old Jack. Oh, of course you're going to do that because every time you restart the game, you've got to disconnect. There we go. Do we get them all together? Yeah, we got them all together. I remove that, and I hope I'm coming in on the right side. I haven't used this machine before. Okay, I'm going to take a wild guess and say I didn't come at it from the right side. I'm going to have to come at it from the other direction. Interesting. Okay, I see the hit, the five-point harness hitch here. Five-point harness, five-point hitch. Let's get this thing out of here. This is not where we want our mower. How about we just set it right in here? Lower the machine, unhitch, 
Perfect. Over here, grab ourselves a baler. Alright, so for those who didn't know, yes, you can attach the baler on the PC and do work. So let's turn it on. Let's get it running. And let's see it in action, shall we? And we're just going to chug, 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 chug our way around until we have, uh, there we go, bales popping on the trailer, guys. Okay, well now actually since we've got this one completely filled up, uh, we're going to take these... Okay, I guess we're not going to take these bales. I thought we'd take those bales and uh, load them on the inside there, but apparently it doesn't want to have anything to do with it. So uh, we're going to do a change of plans. And instead of driving all the way through, we're just going to hand bale. So basically, guys, if you want to feed your cows, um, just walk up, pick up a bale, walk over, drop it in. So now it says straw, cow food, 200. Use your engineering site, and you can see that you do own zero cows, but you have 1,200 kilograms of straw so I'm gonna go ahead here guys fill this all up when I'm done that um, when it's filled up all the additional bales we're not gonna sell them we're just gonna store them in here so that way eventually when we do get those cows we can go ahead and uh, and uh, have some food for them so we don't have to pay for it all right well that didn't quite fill up the barn like I thought it was going to I thought maybe I'd have five or six more bales extra to put into the big barn but I guess we didn't but we still have 9600 kilograms of food we can fit two more bales in there in order to get that topped right up but for now guys it is 9 25 at night that's close enough for the 10 o'clock for me we're going to call it there thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe tell me what you think about the fishing and uh, if you found any different locations for the apples but for now guys i'm heading off to sleep thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next episode take care